Today, Hypixel pulled in over three times the players of the other nine most popular Java servers combined and does so every day. Hypixel is drawing in new players to Minecraft every single day. So why is this a bad thing? Well, let's explore the problems with Minecraft and its server scene. There's no argument that servers have declined. Minecraft isn't at the peak popularity it was back in 2021. And server average player counts are lower than they used to be. But throughout this, Hypixel has remained far above any other Java server. But why is this bad? What Hypixel has done is conquered the Java server scene in such a way where it is more difficult for another server to compete with it. It has taken ideas from other servers and replicated them better. In 2015, if you wanted your Bedwars style game modes, you would turn to games such as Cubecraft Egg Wars. But since Bedwars is release and Hypixel's boom, Cubecraft Java has shrank to the point it is now, with worries of closing for good. This domination comes with its own host of problems. There is little competition as Hypixel has all the resources to continue developing in ways that small servers cannot compete with, causing Hypixel's lead to only widen. And if there are no new faces to the server scene, who knows what amazing, creative new minigames we could be missing out on. Hypixel isn't even that good. Game modes on other servers are just as well designed and made as those on Hypixel, but the community and bias around Hypixel leads any worthy rivals to fall at the first hurdle. However, there are other issues. According to a poll I put out a few days ago, and the few others I found online, more people actually prefer 1.9 PvP to 1.8. If we apply this small sample size to the whole of the Minecraft community, surely there is an empty space within the server community for a Hypixel-like server, just with 1.9 combat mechanics. So why doesn't this server exist. If you have ever played Bed Wars or Sky Wars, you will know that more often than not the Void is doing the killing for you. With the 1.8 mechanics and easily being able to combo people into taking masses of knockback off an edge, this just makes sense. But with 1.9, this is much more difficult, leading these previously unique games to feel almost voidless. It is common knowledge that 1.9 PvP is slower than its 1.8 counterpart, with mainstream strategies involving waiting for axes to fully charge before attempting to hit your opponent or standing around blocking your shield. Games designed to be fast paced with constant action don't port well over to this new style of PvP. The biggest and most well known candidate to potentially rival Hypixel is a server known as MCC Island. The mini games, based on the 1.9 style of combat, are all a breath of fresh air from the Bed Wars and Sky Wars we are used to. But even the public MCC server is currently stuck behind a paywall just to play on the server. I think it is safe to say, as 1.9 PvP grows more and more, boosted by creative is like Dream popularising this version even more, we will start to see more innovation from new servers, all fighting to monopolise on this community, currently out of Hypixel's reach. It's even 1.8 focused servers competing with Hypixel should be able to support themselves and grow without having to grapple with our current reality. But that isn't about to change. Server coverage on YouTube outside of Hypixel is minimal, and what there is is often not well documented at all. Instead of showing off a server's unique features, they compare ones similar to Hypixels, reinforcing a bias that Hypixel does everything better. This narrative is not good. We take away from what makes a server unique in place of what makes it worse than Hypixel, often outside of the server's control. One thing we can all agree Hypixel is king of is monetization. Hypixel has five purchasable ranks. VIP, VIP+, plus, MVP, MVP+, plus, and MVP++. Plus plus. From the names down to even the colour scheme, these ranks are designed to maximise sales. Let's dive deeper and look at VIP, starting at a very reasonable $8. This is what I like to call the gateway rank. Perks you get are almost irrelevant. The fact that you are now not a non is the main buying point. But all these ranks offer exciting upgrades over the last. At VIP Plus, you can create guilds. MVP, your name is now blue. MVP Plus, you can choose whatever map you want. And at MVP Plus Plus, you get YouTube rank almost. Simple gateway, spending $8 to have a green name and be able to fly, catapults the buyer down the path, all the way to MVP+, plus, all the while providing the server with money to continue asserting its control over the rest of the 1.8 server scene. The vast amount of resources Hypixel has access to enables it to push past what a normal server would be capable of doing. Not only do you have all the PvP minigames you can ask for, but you have the casual game modes, you have survival, you have a whole MMORPG, which in itself is the boundary of a whole server. Hypixel's dominance is exponential. 
the more money it has, the more it can achieve. And the more money it has, in general, the less money and players other servers have. This cycle is dangerous to Minecraft's multiplayer community and needs to change. But that will not happen without innovation and a breakthrough not yet achieved. The Java server scene is looking dire, but there are glimmers of hope that new competitors will be able to break through the high ceiling imposed by Hypixel and establish themselves as pioneers of a new era of Minecraft servers. But until that day, Minecraft has a server problem. If you enjoyed, why don't you check out my previous videos? I guarantee you will enjoy them too. I also might do a bedrock version of this if you want. Let me know. Bye.